My name is Amir Nance and I'm a technical fellow at Microsoft and the CTO for Power BI. Power BI is a cloud service that does BI, just data from the cloud and on premises, and then makes it available in all sorts of wonderful ways across all kinds of media and devices. This is one of the fastest growing businesses in Microsoft history. What, what's going on? Why, why were we so successful? I think it all starts with a, a very coherent vision that we have around what we believe in which is we believe in, in the world of data culture. The world of data culture is a world where every employee is provided with data and the tools to see data. Every employee has the ability to read data, to speak data. It's a world where opinions are replaced with facts. It's about what you know versus who you know. Microsoft has transformed itself over the last three and a half years in a way that I have never seen before. Today, yeah, Microsoft has about 120,000 employees. Every month, 100,000 employees are using Power BI. And we can see how every decision it now starts with, let's see the data first. When we imagine Power BI, we really imagine the product that can truly bring that power of data to every employee. And we haven't really changed our formula much in the last four years since we, we worked on started working with Power BI. Uh, Power BI, even though it kind of feels like a new product or you know, less than four years in the market, it's based on incredible deep IP that we have built in Microsoft, both in the BI space, the AI space. We made a huge bet on the cloud, and that allowed us to basically have a product that has frictionless adoption. That principle just skyrocketed Power BI, and within weeks, the adoption was unbelievable. The other thing that we, we saw is, is a tremendous uh, differentiator that really allowed us to spread is this notion of single global cloud system. There's only one Power BI in the world, just like there's one Facebook in the world. And everybody's working on the same system. All the data and all the people are on the same platform. And the thing that separates them is security and permission and rights, not architecture and, and geographies. And that provides out of the box at the most fundamental level, the complete governance of the system. Every piece of data can be connected with every other piece of data. And that is a true SaaS service. We have come up with a price point that in a very deliberate way was designed to facilitate incredibly wide adoption. And that's catapulted Power BI to very broad adoption. If we really want to provide every employee in the company with the power of data, then we really have to drive the prices to a level that everybody can afford them. And that's exactly what we've done. Every week we deliver features of the service. Every month we deliver a new version of our BI desktop. And it's all driven by the community. This is the DNA of the product. And we are an amazing global footprint. We are available for 43 languages, 34 data centers around the world. In fact, it's very, very hard to find companies that are not running RBI. As I said, innovation is driven by the community and innovation is fast and furious. Very quickly, that incredible pace of innovation assured customers that even if Power BI is missing something, it is going to have it so, so fast. At this point, we are having 100,000 applications uploaded to the service every day. We are processing 10 million BI queries per hour. We have 10 petabytes uploaded into the service every month. These numbers are orders of magnitude higher than any other cloud service of BI out there. Whenever I talk to any significant enterprise, they tell me that they have every BI product under the sun and then some. And that by itself is really getting in the way of getting that virtual cycle, that network effect that drives the data culture. We want to create a unified global BI platform for every organization, workload, and scale for both enterprise BI and self-service BI. What we're doing is, we are bringing the full power of analysis services and reporting services into the product. Analysis services has been powering RBI from day one. It is the foundation, the rock that RBI is built upon. We have found a way to allow ourselves to expose the full power of analysis services, semantic modeling in Power BI, and we're bringing the full power of that model into the, the self-service product. We're doing the same thing with the reporting services. We're bringing the full power of that product into Power BI with pixel-perfect paginated reports, 
and all the goodness that goes with enterprise reporting. One single global unified platform that can allow both end users to sell service themselves and give the full power of modeling to IT and the governance and the ability to certify data sets all in one place is what RBI is all about. The new RBI is incredibly deep product that carries you from the data lake to the dashboard from self-service to full enterprise governance, from interactive report to paginated report, slicing and dicing to augmented insights uh, with AI from megabytes to petabytes for every workload, for every scale, so we can enable data culture everywhere. And we live the dream at Microsoft, five seconds to sign up, five minutes to wow, 